morning everybody. Rural Homesteaders here. Today we're going to go through how we do our potatoes and get them started before the last frost. If I put them out right now they're going to freeze and I'm going to lose everything. So what we do is we take our feed bags and I'm sure you guys all have feed bags or a lot of you have feed bags if you've got animals. We notch holes in the feed bags so we can use them to carry stuff around. But if we're not using them for that purpose, then what I do is I roll them down, like you see right here. And then I put three different types of dirt in there. I mix them in here. So I end up using some wood chips, some planting dirt, Then depending on what kind of animals you have on your farm, this is alpaca droppings and some uh, chicken droppings as well. Hello, Annie. Nope, this, is, this video is not for you. Okay, out you go. go so I take all three of those, I throw those into the bag here, I mix it up real well, and then I end up with a good soil that won't stick together doesn't clump and I can plant from there. Now the reason I do the bag like this is because I'm going to take the potatoes and I'm going to cut the bag open for the potatoes here. And I'm going to put the potatoes in at that height. Then after the potatoes start to grow, then I'm going to start unrolling the bag a little bit at a time, adding more dirt until I've got a bag that's almost this high, full of potatoes and full of dirt. Then I can come in here and I can just slice open my bag and I can pull the potatoes out and harvest the, pota the potatoes from there. I do the same thing. I make a bag for each of them, a bag for each type of potato and a bag for each type of onion that we're going to be growing. Now if I want to, down the road, I can transfer all this into the garden uh, once I've got the frost issue taken care of and we don't have to worry about the frost anymore. Um, as you can see behind me, we've got a whole bunch of different stuff that we've got seeding. These all came from different seeds that we started. Um, a lot of them are from our freeze-dried seeds that we use and uh, they'll be going into the garden as soon as we don't have to worry about the last frost. So that's what we're doing for our potatoes. Um, just using some old bags we would have thrown away anyway. And we'll end up having our potatoes and our onions in and started this week. Thanks for watching.